Hello everyone, welcome to the next video. In this part, as you can see, we will continue to work on the equipment system. And this time, we focus on a simple bottom part with automatic weight paint. We will also do the logic that's behind this equipping of the bottom part. Let's begin by opening Blender. Add a cube to our mesh we created in the last video. You can see my button presses at the bottom left. Scale the cube down and bring it up a bit. Go to edit mode and bring it to one side. Next add a mirror modifier. Cut at the mesh in the middle and go to wire mode. Activate the clipping on the modifier and bring the left side to the middle, so that they merge. Go back to wireframe and bring the right part closer in. Now let's model a very simple shape. I will speed this part up a bit. After you've finished, apply the modifier and add the weight paint from the mannequin to the mesh. Simply select the mesh first and then with shift pressed select the bottom mesh and you will get the selection mode. You can then simply go to weight paint mode and transfer the weight. Make sure you have the same settings like I do here at the bottom left. They work best as far as I know. The last step is to add an armature to the mesh and select the root mesh from the mannequin. You should then see the vertex groups on the mesh. Try to rotate the bones in pose mode to check if everything is working. If everything is working, we can export it to the Unreal Engine. Make sure to save everything. You can then delete the top cube and the character mesh. And then you can go to export, make sure that you select amateur and mesh and uncheck add leaf bones as always. After you export it, you can then undo the deleting of the top part and the character mesh. Back into the engine and let's import the bottom part. Create a new folder in the mesh folder and import it. Make sure to select the skeleton and after that, let's create the child item blueprint. Open the BP. Set the skeletal mesh to the bottom part. And then you can move it a bit down. And then you should set the item defaults.
After you've done this, you can pull the item already into your game, but it won't equip for now. For that to work, we need to go to the character, to the equip item function, and then into the attach function. Copy and paste one of the equip by functions and create a new skeletal mesh for the character. Rename it. Don't forget to add it to the construction script to the leader post component function. And for the last thing, we need to specify on which subcategory we want to set the skeletal mesh. So copy and paste this also. Connect it to the add function and we can do the same copy and paste for the unequipping function. A small thing I missed, connect the equip type to the slot here. Now let's test it. Pick the bottom part up and try to run around. And that's it. This time I can give you a small preview for the next video. I will show you another simple way of creating much better and realistic clothes in Blender, as you can see here in the video. I still recommend you to do your own search, because I'm not good in Blender and you can maybe do better clothes. So, see you in the next one. Bye!